Welcome back. Whether you're dealing with coronavirus, seasonal allergies, or just looking for ways to cope with all that's going on, we're all trying to find different ways to feel better. Keeping yourself healthy and happy should always be the top priority. I'm joined now with Dr. Clayton Pitts from Norval Chiropractic Clinic in Flowood. He's here to discuss a few natural remedies and the importance of overall wellness during this time. Dr. Pitts, thanks so much for joining me. Well, thank you for having me. Well, tell me a little bit about natural remedies. Do you find they help in the COVID-19 fight? Well, I think before you can get into that conversation, we have to really come to terms with the people that are getting really sick with COVID-19, nine out of 10 of them have comorbidities. And that means that we have a virus problem, but we also have a health problem. So we need to get healthier as a nation. And especially here in this state, when we got 40% of adults that have obesity, that's gonna come with heart problems. It's gonna come with lung problems, also diabetics. And th these people are gonna have harder troubles if they come in contact with the virus. Now, when we're looking at natural remedies uh, and prevention, this stuff needs to be done on the front end, just for prophylactic. We're gonna do this stuff just because we know it's better for us. Uh, when we're looking at vitamins and supplements, these supplements we can test through blood tests to find out where you are on a scale. So if you're on the mental side or the maximal side, you know, you can make changes on either one. Mm -hmm. How can we stay healthy overall? Well, low hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit basically means doing the easy stuff. So eating real food, staying away from processed food, trying to take that sugar count and bring it down a little lower. Fruits and vegetables, getting seven to eight hours of sleep a night. And if we are gonna supplement, maybe focusing on supplementation that would be good for us. So something that would boost the immune system, something that's gonna also lower the inflammation. So inflammation is kind of like a fire. It's the stuff that's going to make things swell. So when we're taking supplements to address inflammation, they're typically something like fish oil, omega-3 or turmeric to lower the inflammation reaction. And inflammation is something that's going to be there, but if you get sick or if you get hurt, even a trauma, inflammation happens. And if you have a higher inflammation cascade, the inflammation is going to be worse. So you take supplements and you eat a certain way to decrease that inflammation reaction. And uh, like I said, the, the supplements that would be on the inflammatory side uh, for the benefits gonna be turmeric, omega-3s, decreasing processed sugar, alcohol, decreasing smoking. Um, basically, you know, things that we know that are healthy for us. Now on the side of the equation that ends up being the immune support, we want to look at overall where are we deficient? And most people, when we're looking at blood tests, and that's not just here in Mississippi, that's over the whole nation, uh, vitamin D ends up being high on deficiency. Zinc uh, is another immune system booster. Vitamin C, most people do get vitamin C. Vitamin B, actually, people are deficient in vitamin B, and that means the whole B complex. So there's a lot of vitamin Bs you can get, and basically the B complex will cover a lot of that spectrum. Now, sleep is another thing that we really have trouble with, and sleep is your recovery. Sleep helps boost your immune system. If we're not getting sleep, immune systems will be lower. So that's a good way to kind of go about it is trying to do the easy things. Mm -hmm, exactly, because I know your body kind of repairs itself overnight when you are sleeping. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, now also on, on the other side of stuff, we have exercise, you know, getting sunlight, vitamin D, 40% of people could be deficient in vitamin D, and we get most of the vitamin D from the sun. So trying to get, like this time of year, April, May, 20, maybe 25 minutes of sun on 40% on of your body would be enough for one single day of vitamin D. And if we're gonna supplement vitamin D, we need to supplement vitamin D3. It's already had the conversion factors, your body will accept that. So well, moving, walking, there, setting Dr. short Pitts. goals for exercise. You don't have to have an hour. Maybe uh, looking at a pedometer that could be your smartphone or your smartwatch and saying, let me start with trying to get 5,000 steps a day, which isn't too hard if you just try a little bit and then work your way to more exercise. So a lot you can do on the front end to stay healthy, getting the right amount of exercise, sleep, and working in those supplements. Thank you so much, Dr. Pitts.